Hello friends and welcome back to the horror section. This is going to be another just showing off video. And I'm just showing off my Vestron video uh, collector series uh, waxwork and waxwork 2 set here I got. Pretty cool little set. I'm just kind of showing y'all what it's got if you haven't picked this one up. This one might be one that you're... That you were on the fence about, you know, it's been out for a little while, but I just figured I'd show it off. I've had it for a pretty good while, and I really enjoy these movies, but just showing you what it kind of has with it, like special features and stuff like that. And of course, these are on two separate discs, so that's kind of cool. And uh, it's put out by Lionsgate, of course. So they're using the uh, Vestron name to kind of put these older movies out. Excuse me. And on the uh, wax work, it has uh, audio commentary with uh, Anthony Hickox and Scott Gallagher. Uh, theatrical trailer, steel gallery, featurette, the wax work chronicles, part one through three, vintage making of featurette. And of course, this one was made in 1988. Uh, color, of course, uh, runs 97 minutes. And a pretty cool little movie. And then Waxwork 2, Lost in Time, which is all right. I, it's not a like a favorite of mine, but it's pretty decent. It's actually got Bruce Campbell in this and it. But uh, he has a little bit of a, a couple scenes in there where he does some kind of funny stuff. This one's only got an audio commentary with Anthony Hickox and Scott uh, Galligan. Did I say Gallagher? I don't remember. Galligan. And a theatrical trailer and still gallery. So it's got a few extras, not really a lot on there. So if you're looking for extras, you know. And I've watched both of these on here. And both of them are in pretty good. They look pretty decent. They don't look like, you know, I guess they could have been like, I don't know if uh, uh, Lionsgate actually like tried to fix them or anything, you know, make them look better. I mean, they look good, but they don't look great. There you know, and they're they're not the best movies I've ever seen on Blu-ray, but they're not bad. But uh, the first one looks pretty cool, and then the second one is like it's it's so so. It's got spots in it where it doesn't look as good to me, but uh, still to get them, you know, you get them on uh, Blu-ray, and they're not that. It, this one's not as expensive as it used to be. And plus, you're getting two movies, so that's pretty cool. That's what I like about Vestron because when they They've done this for like the uh, Wishmaster, which I'll probably be showing it sometime. I've got it too, and it has all four movies on it, so that's kind of cool, you know. Whereas you don't, you may do, you may pay a little bit more, you know, for the Vestron, but if you're getting like four or five, you know, three to two, three, four movies in there instead of just getting the first one, you know. But, uh, not kind of. I can uh, get it out. They have them in here nice and tight in these. Uh, I actually like these slip covers pretty good. I like the uh, that silver up there. Kind of looks cool. And of course, there's the uh, Waxwork One Collector's Edition. I always thought that cover looked pretty cool. And then if you open it up. And you don't really the you don't really get anything extra with them like a book or anything like that. All the ones that I've ever had, I wish they come and give you like a little book. But then, you know, it's fine enough just getting the movies. And then there's wax work on uh, there's the Blu-ray for it. And then here's wax work too. Lost in time. And then if you wanted to, would you? I prefer the first one. But if somebody did like the second one, you can always. Uh, I can figure out how to get the disc out. There we go. You got. You can uh, switch it over to, to see Waxwork 2. You could have it on the front cover instead of the first one. And I'll just keep the first one. Which I actually don't mind this. I thought it looks slip pr looks pretty cool where it's got both of them on there. It's kind of neat looking. But, uh. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of show it off if you haven't picked this up. Now, I actually really enjoy the wax work. It's one of the ones I used to watch when I was a kid and really enjoyed it. So, I was glad they put it out on uh, Blu-ray. And then you get the... 
I was going to purchase it anyways, and then I get Waxwork 2, you know, as a as a bonus, so that was even better, you know. Whereas I might not have, I probably would have picked up number two, but I might not have. But since I got it with, you know, with the first one, it was pretty cool. So, uh, just showing you a few things that it kind of comes with. And then you can flip it over, and of course it's just going to have all the, which is kind of cool. It's just got all the stuff on here instead of the, uh, of course this one's got both of them. But you've only got, since I've got the Wax Hurt 1 cover in, it's kind of just got all the details on it. And of course the slips got uh, all of them. But I just figured I'd just show it off to uh, let you see what you, uh, if you haven't purchased it yet, maybe you might want to. Like I said, it's a really fun movie. The first one is I really enjoyed. It's kind of a cool uh, movie I remember watching as a kid. And I'm glad uh, Vestron Video put it out on, uh, or Lionsgate put it out through Vestron Video, through that name, which is kind of a cool uh and this one's number three out of their series. They're up, probably up to about, shoo, I bet they're up to 15 or 16 now. And they keep coming out with, uh, I think I think they're coming out with Maximum Overdrive here in a couple, maybe a month or two, um, if I'm thinking right. It's either later on at the end of this year or maybe the start of next year. They'll have Maximum Overdrive out on Blu-ray in their uh, Vestron video kind of line. So if you're looking for maximum overdrive, you know, you can uh, get it through the Vestron label whenever it comes out. So that's kind of cool. They're, they've come out with some pretty cool titles through the Vestron video uh, collector series line. But uh, that'll be it. I am just uh, just figured I'd be uh, just showing off my Waxwork uh, collector series here. So I thought it was pretty cool. So... Uh, until next time, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, have a good one. See you.